Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osaiwa Mesale. And today, um, I'm alone in the studio. <laughs> I have the ladies joining me via Zoom. Um, Lami and Uti, how are you doing? Let me go with Lami first. How are you, Lami? Hey. Very well, thank you. Well, and how are you doing? How is it down there? Lonely? <laughs> it's, well, it's, I, I, since I have you via Zoom and I can see you, we're good. <laughs> But Lamy, oh, so I, sad. Sorry. I know it's, it's understandable. We're in very special times. But Lamy, I just wanted to hear um, your uh, assessment because I was with Uti um, yesterday. I haven't spoken to you. Um, what has been your assessment or concerning all the answers, the protests, how it now erupted into this? Um, what's it called? This unending looting that is going on. Okay. First, I would say that. Um is a very, very distressing, you know, looking at the videos, looking at the level of vandalization, the looting going on and um, what particularly did it for me was that um, no security agency, particularly the police, did anything to, um, to repel all the acts. So mm -hmm. they all had a field day and it was coordinated. Mm -hmm. So my worry is, was it spontaneous or are these attacks, um, were they sponsored? And what, what kind did they have to sponsor? You know, because nobody expected the, the, the coffee. It was, we had about like, probably like four hours between when it was announced and when we, and the coffee started initially the first um, time the governor announced. So how did they happen? Why did the security agencies um, refuse to do anything you know, I'm just confused. And um, another thing that's a bit worrying to me is a lot of these vandals, they, they have got access into the armory of the police, hmm. particularly from the police station. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of armor now in the public space. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see a lot of armed robbery. Absolutely. Uh, in recent times. Absolutely. And, okay, before we were going to start, you were talking to um, Uti about the justification for this um, wanton um, looting and behavior. My view is different. I can remember that. I'm sorry, I'm picking oh, my yeah, words quickly, because I'm quickly. Very, I am overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. I am distressed. I can remember that when Dr. Banere came to the show, well, probably I had a discussion after the show with him. And he said to me that we are all talking about COVID and all that, the effect of COVID. Have we talked about the psychological and psychiatric effect it's having on citizens? Hmm. People have lost their jobs. People have been holding their homes. People have lost their homes. They can't provide for their families. Well, they can't pay their rents. So some of them are on the streets. Most of these people that did the, van the vandalization, they are not street urchins. They are not the so-called towns. They are not all of them. So what could have been... So I would relate it to psychological effects. Too. Well, okay. So Uti, let me quickly hear Uti. <laughs> today, today is Lamy start talking. Well, so, I mean, I wish I could say that one, that I don't understand where Lamy is coming from, and two, that I somewhat agree. Yes, there's poverty. And yes, there are all these different conditions and there are all the underlying causes. Mm -hmm. But accountability goes across board for every person. Right is right regardless of circumstances. Wrong is wrong regardless of circumstances. Mm -hmm. Black is black, white is white. Now, when we start to add context, we start to live in the gray. Mm -hmm. And gray can play out for anybody. When mm -hmm. it works for you, it's corruption. When it, doesn't, well, when it works for you, it's connection. When it doesn't work for you, it's corruption. Mm -hmm. So I understand, and, and this narrative has been going on for, for how many days now? And I mean, even well before that. But... We call for good governance. The people or the government is a reflection of the people and the people who are not in government today could be in government tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If we do not begin to think about accountability holistically and always put it in context, we will not get the good governance we're looking for. That's Absolutely. just my submission. Absolutely. So um, today we're discussing a lot around what is going on. 
And here's what we found as today's quote. Mere good governance is not enough. It has to be pro-people. It has to be pro-people and proactive. Good governance is putting people at the center of development, of the development process. And it's as simple as that. So um, I don't know if, if our people are listening, our government is listening, but good governance is about pro-people, putting people at the center. All right, so um, the, the question we're asking today is, is Nigeria worth dying for? Is it what all the stress that is going on? And we have Olakunle Sharia to discuss this. But first, let's take a break for what's in the news. Thank you.